Theo's almost 10 months old. Good morning. Got a full day of eating for ya. Julie's got a new collar. It's Michigan. What are you doing? That's Theo sleeping and stuff. What'd you have? Iced coffee. Cold brew. What's that shirt? It's a tank. He's really busting out of that thing. I know, it's for 12 month old still. He's in the 87th percentile BMI. We're going to 100. Oh, Theo's teething. And Mega's doing this new thing where like she follows me around and if I set down a water cup or like some sort of utensil for cooking, she immediately cleans it and like puts it in the dishwasher. So that's a new thing. I think that's like one step of motherhood. You're welcome. Okay. I'm gonna make my coffee though and I'll show you what's in it. So here's my coffee right here. This is what's in it. So there's a nice heaping tablespoon of canned coconut milk. Then there's a nice solid splash of this. I love this flavor and I love the nut pods. And then I'm going to get some salmon out. So Theo will down this entire salmon, not like this. I obviously break it up, but it's pre-cooked smoked salmon and this is what he's gonna have for breakfast. Feeling blessed, feeling heavenly. Yeah, yeah, and my shot is straight from Beverly. Yeah, they be talking, I can't tell a thing. Don't know, yeah, don't know what they're telling me. Don't yeah. know, at the mall, counting racks out of name it. Marcus, yeah. she gon' get a test, but I'm young and I'm hard. Yeah. I was down bad, I was feeling, I was starving. So this is Theo's morning routine, an hour. After I nurse him, we usually feed him breakfast and he plows through the food. And he only uses his right hand because he's <laughs> right-handed. So his left hand's always clean, which is nice. What was the hardest thing about being pregnant for nine months? I guess the weight. Now, now that I look back, so I had like a lot of like kidney stones and like health issues, but now that I have him, I think it's just waiting to meet him or her. What's the hardest thing about being a mom? The constant worrying and concern, watching him grow, go to school, get bullied maybe. Those things really, really stress me out already. Are you feeding your brother? What was the most exciting milestone? No, Theo, no. When I first heard him hit, do his coup. I think he was like four and a half weeks. I was in bed with him and he just went, coo, and I just lost it. That was like the, one of the happiest days of my life. Do you share any similarities with your child, physical or personality? Physically, we're both very round. I was very chubby as a kid. Um, and he seems very uh, stubborn. How have you changed as a person since becoming a mom? That's a tough one. I've changed in every single way. I'm definitely a lot more um, sensitive. I'm like hypersensitive now. I'm a lot more empathetic towards other moms, towards other people. I'm more clean, I'm more organized. He's just feeding his brother. No, Jul Theo, Theo, no. You, it's your breakfast. It's, it's your yours. breakfast. We've also got some dehydrating pecans in here that I soaked overnight and they're heavily salted. We got those at the farmer market um, this weekend. So the farmer market in Marietta has officially opened, which is awesome. So we went there with Theo and we saw like the chunkiest baby. There's so many babies. It was so great because now we get to like see what Theo could potentially look like. We saw a baby that looked probably exactly what Theo will look like. He was walking around, he had like long shaggy hair, he was chubby and white and so cute. So we got some nuts, we got some Georgia peaches, which we found out that Theo loved. Oh, we got Julius's collar, which you saw. I love the farmer's market. It's such a fun place. It reminds me of when Matt and I first met, we used to go down to the farmer's market at the, like the ferry building in San Francisco and we would like pick one or two ingredients and then just to make like a breakfast sandwich or a dish surrounding it. And we weren't keto at the time. So it was really fun. We would get like a, like a fresh baked baguette and like tons of different cheeses. It was, it was amazing, but you can still get great finds even if you're keto and low carb. So I got the nuts going and we also just have, now we have like our stash of soaked and dehydrated nuts. So we have the Brazil nuts. We got some pecans, but we're dwindling. And then I just made these over the weekend. These were raw cashews and they are just amazing. So good. They're like super salted and roasted and I just love them. A little higher on the carbs, still high in fat, still a good source of nutrition and I just love them. We just have like a nice handful after dinner for a snack and I love snacking on cashews. So for lunch, since my brother's visiting, we hit up one of our favorite spots, Righteous Q Barbecue. And I called ahead and I asked, so we got some brisket, some ribs and some chicken right there. But I called ahead and asked and their brisket is the only thing that doesn't have any like sugar in their rub or dextrose or anything. It's just salt and pepper. So we got a nice, pound and a half of fatty brisket here for lunch. And Julius will of course get some. Sit. Good boy. 
So this is what my plate looks like here. Got some brisket, some soaked and dehydrated Brazil nuts, and then the leftover salmon from Theo's breakfast that he didn't eat. It's like the peppered portion I always take off, so I always eat it. And it's like one of my favorite things to do, eat Theo's leftovers. Would you eat Theo's leftovers? I would, yeah. Like if he sucks on a piece of meat, I, I would mind. eat that. Yeah. You don't mind? No. <gasps> You've changed with the baby. Well, with Theo, I wouldn't eat like a pork rind that he's been sucking on I for would. like an hour. Easy. I wouldn't eat that. Oh, I was gonna say, so these are the workout shoes. I guess I never talked about like workout gear or anything, but these I love. Yeah, I New have a pair. Yeah, I got one for Mega too. New Balance Minimus. They make new ones like every couple years. And if you want to get a little bit of the effect of like the toe shoes, but you don't want to be a toe shoe weirdo person, you know those shoes that have the toes? Everyone knows toe about shoes. those, right? Yeah. Toe shoes. So if you don't want to be a weirdo, these are sort of similar because they're zero drop. So most shoes have like a, a heel that has like some grade. So these are, they're called, you can just search for zero drop shoes too. These, these aren't the only brand. They're not great for like running though. They're not, yeah, they're not really good for running because you want the cushion when you're actually running. But for doing like deadlifts and stuff like that, I like using them. Minimus, I like them. I've gotten these shoes. I've got, this is like the third different remake of these I've gotten. I always buy these, I love them. And you can wear them no socks too. They're very like, you can see right through them. They're like pretty minimal. Yeah, they're breathable. I think these are about 120 bucks or something. But we've had ours for like four years now. And they they're last a while. Yeah, they're super sturdy. And they're still. just like very flimsy and flexible. Flexy, like Theo. Come, come. He crawls, but he doesn't lift up his belly. Here's my lunch. Brisket and an avocado. Keeping it simple. What? Oh no, What's he? he's eating dog food. Why are you eating dog food? There's no food in it, luckily. Oh, is it time for lunch for Theo? A quick break from the action, guys, for our sponsor. Shout out to Perfect Keto and their amazing keto cookies. If you actually wanna know what we think of them, like see us taste them, check out our last taste test video. We reviewed these cookies and they are in our top products for sure. If you want to try them out, they got three flavors, double chocolate, chocolate chip, and peanut butter. You can use the code KCCOOKIES15 to get 15% off one box and then 20% off two boxes, 30% off three boxes, so you're gonna hit a super deal. Um, and there'll be a link in the description below if you wanna check them out. Back you're to the action. You're gonna hit a super deal? You're gonna hit a super deal. Back to the action. Nuts are out of the oven. We have a little sleeping baby. And I am having an iced coffee, instant coffee decaf with this. And Matt, what are you doing? I won one game, but no, they can't NBA. hear you. Playing NBA 2K. And he's losing horribly. I wanted to dunk on him for the video. <laughs> I pulled out some ground lamb for dinner. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it. I'm gonna have a snack right now. These are Brazil nuts. And some blueberries, probably like, you no, know, like a half cup, I guess, of blueberries. Okay, I'm cooking dinner. These are meatballs, it's lamb, and this is two pounds. And then what I usually do is I just grab like some kind of, it's low carb marinara sauce. It's just no sugar added to it. And I just pour the whole bottle in on top. So would you say you like it saucy? I just put it in the oven at 350 for like maybe 10 minutes. And then over here, this is pancetta. And I'm gonna add a little tallow, doing? beef tallow. And then these are shaved Brussels sprouts. We always like to get them like this. They cook quicker and you're not left with them like raw hard pieces. Uh, I'm over here snacking on some bloobs. We also got some local Georgia peaches at the farmer's market. So I made a coconut oil peach and pear puree. Well, it's not puree, it's like big chunks for Theo. Take off! So here's dinner. These are the meatballs. Beautiful. And this is the Brussels sprouts. And there's the rocket ship. And there's his food. What is that? That's fruit, and he's gonna get meatballs. Come on! He hey! Oh. He likes his meat first. Well, he just slapped the fruit out of my hand. The old Ratliff over here. See the energy. I got sugar. You can know it is. Pull a 30 deep. Honey hollows in his full face. See you on a speak. I would be playing, except I jammed my finger yesterday. The start of the week. So I'm out for the count. He's just in the shot. Look at this shot, how cute he is. Ready? Right. Go, Oh, went in. Now I realize how much I use my. Oh, 
Shorty want class, so she fought for the fame. Look in my eyes, man, I swear I won't change. Losing my mom, and I swear I can't think. Took all the love, and she throwing the sink. Got me losing my mom, and I swear I can't think. I'm a little bro, and you roll in the stain. Fuck what I wanted, I got a ring. Hi, are you having fun? Are you playing basketball? Uh, he likes basketball. Aww. Hey. Hey. Pass it to me. Pass it. Nice. Nice assist, bud. Megan's putting Theo's pajamas on. He's squirming around. He's a little alligator. Commonly asked question, is your baby keto? And no, he's not. We feed him sweet potatoes, some fruits. What else that's carbs? Carrots. Carrots. I mean, we only feed him like, I guess, paleo foods, you could say. But commonly when you go into the doctor's office, Four months, they tell you, at least they told us, rice cereal, which of course, it makes no sense. Why you would feed your baby rice cereal? I guess it helps them sleep. If you feed them rice cereal, you like put it in the milk before bed and then well, they just sleep. Well, it's like a good starter food. Also, I think just because the, the food itself for nutrition sake isn't necessary because they're still getting breast milk or formula. And then another thing they tell you is peanuts or like early exposure to allergies high allergy foods. We didn't do that. Like we talked to the doctor and she like, it's basically based on just one, one study. So I think it's based on just one study in Israel, their baby food or their baby cereal puffs has peanut butter in it and their babies have like a little bit lower allergy mm -hmm. rates than other babies. It doesn't really make sense to feed babies foods they can't eat on yeah. their own. Like babies can't eat peanuts, so why would you feed them peanut butter? Well, I don't think that's a good way to say it because they can't eat sweet potatoes on their own either or steak. They can or... eat steak. Oh, I see what you mean, like pick up. Well, they just physically can't eat a peanut. Yeah, same with like the vegetables that we feed them, like the hard starchy ones. I guess that's true, but they can eat steak. Yeah. I mean, all the foods they should be eating, they can eat. And so I think our plan though, is definitely to wait until after a year. Nuts in general are hard for people to digest. Like our stomachs can't digest them as well. And a lot of you people probably have that experience. And so once they get past a year, I think it's just easier for them to digest, right? And I plan on like soaking, because we soak and dehydrate a lot of our nuts. So I'd probably make him nut butters out of those nuts. And then someone asked on Instagram, are you really strict with your child? the foods. And I don't understand why you wouldn't be strict when yes. the baby like has no, like he doesn't know what Snickers bars and like ice cream is. So like, why not just be really strict? That's how I see it. So for example, where were we? And someone was like, oh no, we were at our friend's barbecue. And if someone was like, oh, can your son have a French fry? And Matt was like, no. Yeah. And then she was like, oh, daddy said no. And it's like, we're not trying to be like the evil parents. It's just, should he be having a French fry at nine months? Like I get it when the kid three or four or whatever, and they're like, I want the French fries, dad. Yeah. That's that's different. But when he has no say in the matter, he doesn't even know what French fries are. I don't understand why. Yeah. That's just for me. But yeah, we're pretty strict. Like we only feed him whole foods basically. Yeah. Like, Except the paleo puffs. Yeah. The one thing we got is these paleo puffs. Maybe I'll put a screenshot. Cause yeah. we looked like through the whole grocery store, basically whole foods. All of them. For a easy to eat, so he can like work on his hand eye coordination. And yeah, something that'll like melt in his mouth. And there's a ton of like baby biscuits that melt or like baby puffs that melt. But if you look at the ingredients, they're just, they're like very unsavory, right? There's, there's like food yeah. coloring. There's just like, it's a lot of like sugars and wheat flours and things like that. And so the paleo puffs I think are a good alternative. Even if you have like, even, I would eat them. Like they're super tasty too, right? Mm -hmm. So I think they're just a good um, option for any kid. All right guys, that was another day of eating. We will see you in two weeks.